That's where we start tonight. Tom Durian is live in Greenfield where the district voted to end their mask mandate this week. Tom. Yeah, Shannon and Steve, uh, the CDC guidance is basically telling all the school districts across the country to tie their mask mandates into the disease level in their county. Here in Milwaukee County, we're at a medium level. And so, yes, here in Greenfield, they decided to remove their mask mandate. It's been two years of our kids either being educated behind a screen or having their faces covered in school. Several parents spoke at the Greenfield School District meeting Monday night, continuing the debate over masks in schools that has been raging since the pandemic began. I am here on behalf of my kids and all the parents, teachers and kids who are fed up with your school mask mandate. District Superintendent Lisa Elliott presented the current Greenfield COVID dashboard and the new CDC guidelines that say only schools in high transmission areas should force students to mask. Some parents and board members express concern for younger students in pre-K that aren't eligible for a vaccine just yet. Please remember that there are students who do not have access to that and masks currently are their only level of protection. Ultimately, the board voted unanimously to end the district's mask mandate and make masks optional starting Wednesday, March 2nd, allowing one day for the changes to be implemented and the community notified. Earlier Monday, the South Milwaukee School District held an emergency meeting on masks. They voted to end their mandate effective March 1st. And breaking within the last hour, Wauwatosa voted unanimously to end their mask requirement immediately. It was also on the agenda for several other school districts across our area, something we will likely see in the days and weeks to come again. Reporting live in Greenfield, Tom Durian, TMJ4 News. Tom, thank you. Well, the Milwaukee Public School District says masks will still be required inside its buildings, even as the city's indoor mandate expires on tomorrow.